um, yes, um, hello humans, um, I am a drone bee, head of safety, see, for the bumblebee flight team, yeah. um, well, bee flight wasn't always plain sailing, <laughs> Yeah. Um, in the old days, there were many attempts at flying, all with varying degrees of success. Our first attempt was very basic indeed. There were some disastrous experiments involving a primitive catapult system. We lost a lot of bees that way. Harnessing nuclear power wasn't too successful either. It was only when we harnessed magnetism that things really took off. <laughs> um, in the early days, we had a magnet situated directly behind a flower. A bee would wear a metal helmet, and we would then switch on the flower magnet, and it would then pull the bee towards it. Well, that was the theory anyway. Then we had the idea of magnetising the bees themselves. We'd have a piece of metal at the flower's location, and the bees would fly towards the flower with grace and um, this plan didn't work either. After many years of experimenting, we finally came up with the National Underground Magnetism Grid. This involved the bees wearing a metal jacket they would then be guided to the flowers by our highly trained navigators, who would then control the strength of the magnetic waves emanating from the underground grid. It's quite simple really, although landing on the flower is still a highly delicate procedure. Well that's it really, I hope it's put you all at ease, I must go and report to the Queen now, thank you. I told them everything you told me, your royal highness. Well done, Drone! Yeah, those humans are so gullible. 